Most people have two kidneys about the size of their fists located in their lower back. Just like your brain or heart, kidneys keep you alive. When diagnosing lupus nephritis, the doctor will consider the medical history, symptoms, results of a physical exam, blood and urine tests, and possibly a kidney biopsy. Urine test to find protein and blood. Blood test to find the estimated glomerular filtration rate, eGFR, which shows how well the kidneys are working. Kidney biopsy to look at a tiny piece of the kidney under a microscope. The kidney biopsy confirms a diagnosis of lupus nephritis and determines the class. There are five classes. These classes are based on the type, location, and amount of damage within the kidney cells as seen on a kidney biopsy. Each class has a different risk for getting worse and a different long-term outlook. Treatment is often based on the class. These five classes of lupus nephritis are different from the five stages of chronic kidney disease. The class numbers are not used to rank the disease severity. For example, class five might not be considered worse than class three. If you have lupus, talk to your doctor about testing for lupus nephritis even if you have no symptoms. Early diagnosis is extremely important to help protect your kidneys. The good news is that when it's found early and treated right, the outlook for kidney disease patients can be very bright.